people have come calling on the people's house. You are, you are most welcome. On behalf of all the citizens of Lansing, I welcome you. I ask you, are you ready to take back your government? Yes! Do you want a government of the people? Yes! By the people? Yes! For the people? Yes! Are you willing to fight like hell to make the American dream good again? Yes! You give me hope. You really do. I want to thank each and every one of you for being here, to come out, to stand strong for yourself, for your family, for your neighbors, for America. Your patriotism shines brightly today. You stand proudly for the American dream, and you haven't given up on America. Thank God. Speaking of the American dream, I'd like to introduce an example of that American dream and a very special guest, a man who came a long way, a long time ago, in search of a better life, and he found it right here in America. I want you to please join me in welcoming my hero, a man that Wall Street hates. I'll explain more later. My father, Julio Bernero. He's over here in the red cap. Raise your hand, Dad. He never knew leisure. I remember many days him coming back from work and going out on another job. Eventually, after his produce business, he went to work for General Motors. He worked for many years, and he earned a modest pension, a pension that is greatly resented by the folks on Wall Street, just like they resented Social Security. He and my mom raised five kids straight into the middle class. We called him Dad, Grandpa, Uncle. Wall Street has another name for him. Legacy cost. You know as well as I do, to the banksters and the hucksters on Wall Street, our seniors are nothing but a burden that need to be reduced, eliminated, slashed. But it's not just an age thing. The one percenters don't want to be bothered with much of anything in the way of social responsibility or public investment. Short of a bloated military budget, they don't see much good in government, do they? The one percenters subscribe to the old, the old trickle-down theory. You know the theory. The idea that if you, if you sprinkle enough good stuff at the top and you take care of those folks with the tax breaks and the loopholes and the goodies, that eventually, eventually some of that will trickle down to the rest of us. And I don't know about you, I don't know about you, my friends, but I'm tired of being trickled on. <laughs> I'm tired of the, the folks at the top getting taken care of and the other folks, the folks, the rest of us, the 99% being left with the crumbs. You deserve better. America deserves better. Our seniors deserve better. Would you join me? Our children deserve better. Our students deserve better. Our families deserve better. Our veterans deserve better. America deserves better. And thank God you're here to fight for it. The unholy, the unholy alliance of Wall Street and Washington has failed to deliver for Main Street. That's the reality. We need a Main Street agenda in place of the Wall Street agenda. What do you say? Main Street, not Wall Street. 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 my dad some 70 years ago from Italy, that America of hope and optimism and opportunity, that America that caused Giulio Bernero and countless others to pack what they could carry on their backs and leave their loved ones and risk it all for the promise of a better life, a fair shot, that America hangs in the balance. Yeah. Yeah. That America of opportunity for all, not just the few at the top, 
but opportunity for all. That's the America I'm fighting for. That's the America I know you're here for. That's the America we're going to bring back. It's, it's not the ugly winner-take-all Darwinian view, the Darwinian corporate view. The 99% have been taken for granted for too long. Thank you, Occupy Lansing. Thank you, Occupy Wall Street, for standing up and sounding the alarm. The American dream is in jeopardy. So enough already. It's time to let Washington and Wall Street know it's the people who run this place. It's the people who run Washington. It's the people who run democracy in America. And it's the people who, are, who have come calling to take it back. God, God bless you. Stick to the fight.